Okay, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is V, and I am going to do another one of those videos where I just do a day in the life of a star citizen mining operator. Just a small scale prospector run. I think we're going to head over to Yella. I haven't been there since the 3.13 update. And I have heard that there are some ice lakes or something. I, at least Space Tomato did a video on it, and I thought I'd check that out today. Uh, and so, yeah, let's just go ahead and begin. This is just kind of a, a run-of-the-mill prospector run. So, first thing I like to do is check my Moby Glass, and uh, I always do a little bit of a pre-flight. Um, it's, it's an important thing to do. Uh, and so I'm just going to take a look at my prospector. Now I have a couple prospectors, and I have one that's kitted with a, um, a VK00. Uh, that's a, a much shorter range drive. In this case, I'm just going to use the stock, uh, the stock drive. Uh, what I am going to look at, though, specifically is um, I am, for the first time, I've embraced kind of going with the the new mining modules. Uh, I generally run a Lancet with a Surge Optimum and Brandt. The truth is I use that Optimum so very little that I've decided to sub that out for the uh, for the FLTR XL. Um, and that's going to give me about 20%. It's going to slow down my extraction rate, but it's going to give me 20% uh, less inert material. So um, I still think that the Surge is a good thing to have with the, when you're pairing it with the Lancet. Um, and the Brandt, of course, is ideal if you happen to hit a Quantanium mo a node. Uh, you know, it just smooths everything out. You don't really need an Optimum when you have a Brandt and you've gotten comfortable with, uh, with, the, with the laser mechanics. And other than that, the Prospector's completely and utterly stock. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and pull the Prospector now. So we'll go ahead and retrieve that guy can you never know oh yep pad four all right and so we will head on up now one thing i definitely like to do and i've already kind of done it here um is i like to do a helmet check uh before uh you, you head out of the um you head out into the uh into the void. <laughs> Lots of times uh, you'll just walk out there and begin choking because you didn't realize you didn't have your helmet on. So never a bad idea to do a helmet check. Um, and I'm just going to give you some of the tips and tricks that I know uh, after doing hundreds and hundreds of hours in the prospector. Um, you know, uh, literally hundreds of mining trips. So uh, the prospectors basically paid for all of my enjoyable time and uh you know in star citizen yeah there's the fltr there i was just going to kind of check it out it's the it's the xl it's the biggest one it's the sixty thousand dollar module um and i i was thinking about putting three of those on there at some point just out of curiosity and and having some fun but i didn't want you know i haven't been on yellow in a while and i didn't want to kind of leave myself short on power or I actually don't even think there's Quantanium on there, so maybe I, I would have been better served to put a, a second FLTR on there. When I was uh, on ARC L1, I did buy four of them. Uh, I'm going to do some kidding out with my mole and monkeying around with that thing and and uh, and going from there. So um, I will say intermittently you may hear me say words that, you know, I, I am using voice attack now. Uh, you you may hear me say words. Um, I have most everything kind of keyed up the way that I want, but uh, I have a couple of things that I will say that and just will seem ra random, and uh, you know I don't want you to worry about that. So it's kind of the kind of the gig. So, anyways, we're gonna just kind of head towards Crusader over here, and we're gonna make a short run towards Port Alisar, and off we go. So. Um, Spooling complete, and off we go towards Crusader. So, I've been on the server for probably a good hour and a half. It's been pretty stable so far this morning. Um, and so, hard to say how long that will last. Uh, I'm hoping that it will last the whole run. I really try to do these 
runs now and then um, because I think it's healthy to just know what it's like from someone's perspective just you know I'm just an average guy I don't have a lot of you know uh, you know I don't I don't have a, a big following or anything I'm just your typical guy playing Star Citizen who just I really love to mine in this game and I know that there's it has a long ways to go uh, I really enjoyed uh, info seekers mining um, uh, show that they did with the with people with a geologist and the guy who actually do, works in a mine um, you know and they talked a lot about moving the earth uh, and that you know and that kind of a thing and so uh, and actually core samples and some of that other stuff so um, you know obviously we're dealing with the mechanics that we have available today uh, and that's important Yeah, so we're just arriving on Crusader. I am going to turn towards Port Alisar, and um, I don't necessarily know that I'm going to go the full distance. So I just kind of, you know, bring my ship over. Um, I'm going to kind of travel towards Port Alisar, get on the other side of Crusader, and then maybe fall out. Port Alisar has been kind of a hotbed of not cool stuff lately. So. You can see I kind of fall out a little a touch early, and then I'm going to swing up and just kind of point my ship towards Yella. I'm I'm probably still six or seven thousand km from from Port Alisar, so I just didn't want to you know even bait the hook and let anybody know that a that a silver slug is headed towards Yella if I can avoid it. Um, and so we're just going to try and 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 put her down somewhere on Yella and and get some distance between us and and the spot we put her down and and then begin doing some prospecting so um, all right so here we here we are i'm just going to kind of spool quantum uh and take a look at what, what some of our options are what did that say there yeah, it's been kind of temperamental Just trying to see how far that down that saying it is. What is this one? 649. Why is it looking so touchy? I do not know. I have no idea why I'm having a hard time lining up on it. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, that one's five some. What I'm trying to do is... I don't want to get onto the dark side if I can avoid it. Yeah, so this mining outpost I think is going to work fine. Uh, I generally don't like to fly towards mining outposts just because, um, you know, if you're a pirate and that's where a rock miner is going to maybe pick up his ROC, uh, that type of thing. But you know what? We'll put a little space between us and the uh, and the mining outpost before we get too crazy. And we'll call it good from there. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing some... Uh, some of the lake stuff that was talked about earlier. Let's kind of spin her around here and maybe head in this direction. We're still, we've got quite a bit of distance now. You know, obviously uh, the rings around Yella are fantastic. Um, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna fly in this direction. I'm just gonna save for about 30 seconds or so. Just block her on. We're not gonna put a ton of distance out there. Uh, maybe I'll even kick her up to, to max speed. Um, but, you know, obviously, uh, Star Citizen is eye candy. Uh, it's one of the reasons why all of us like to play the game, I think. And so we're just kind of putting a little... I'm just trying to get maybe 50 to 75 km away from... away from uh, the mining outpost and just kind of head over this way. So, don't... I have not mined on Yella since... Um, since 3.13 was launched, so I have no idea what I'm going to get myself into here. Or you, if you happen to be watching, uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to set this thing. I like to cruise around 280 to 300 when I'm when I'm doing some mining, and we'll start kind of hitting our break and turning our nose down, and we're going to toggle scanner, get our scanner kind of going, and it's around this time when I actually switch from my HOSAS to my... I actually 
still kind of do the industrial stuff with mouse and keyboard. So I'm just going to kind of get in here, settle in, just give me a sec, and I'll I'll kind of do the, do the switch. And you you won't notice anything, but but I certainly will. So that uh, make that transition a little bit, and off we go. Um, I'm not going to toggle my VTOLs, uh, not necessary right now, but I am going to start just just kind of doing some initial pinging a little bit, and oh, and you can see. There's the beauty of one of the most beautiful things about this is, you know, you're starting to get some of the condensation on the screen. I just noticed uh, around the, on the front, um, on the front of the ship. And off we go. So, oh, I'm going to turn my, um, concentrate my scanner down to four times. I didn't realize uh, it was up, up at the one times. So generally speaking, it will stay at four times when you do it. Uh, and so I've got my first ping over this way, and we're going to head over this way and look. And boy, I can tell you right off the bat that they've definitely changed the way that the planet looks here. And it is looking good. I think it's looking enjoyable. Um, one of the things that's changed a little bit is the scanning meta. Like, you used to be able to just immediately pop these and it would work. Um, I'm tending to find it's kind of a mixed bag. A lot of times I'm having to get a little closer to them. Uh, that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, and agresium, and you're going to find lots of agresium on this planet. That's one of the things that kind of made me rich as a miner is the is just coming here and doing agresium mining, or agresium mining. Uh, it's just it's it's abundant here. Uh, you're going to find lots of nodes of that stuff, and uh, and off we go. So, yeah, our our, our first initial scans are kind of kind of bleak. We haven't seen any a whole lot. We're gonna going to turn down this way and really kind of just enjoy the, the beauty here. Wow, I mean, it is gorgeous. So we'll kind of get ourselves orientated a little bit this way and pop off a scan and see if we see anything. And we'll just keep, we'll just enjoy, enjoy our time. I mean, one of the things about mining is it blows my mind. There are some times where I literally just come out of quantum scan one time and it is absolutely no problem uh, you find immediately some bexalite some montanium some laranite some terranite and then there are other times you come to these planet surfaces and I scan 300 nodes and I think that's one of the reasons why people have turned to bounty hunting as much uh, is because it's just it's kind of automatic I mean you can pretty much take it to the bank unless there's a a bug or something that you're gonna get what you want but you know mining's my jam I enjoy doing this it's simple uh, you know family man easy peasy uh, if, you know if I have to go help with homework or something it's easy to do and uh, here's a couple to scan here We're gonna kinda give them the old old school one laser shot for what if, it just doesn't seem to do the same trick anymore which is no big deal. We'll just kind of fly in on them, and what I've had to do sometimes is even get the mining laser out. Now, those have an, an awful orange look to them, so it'll be interesting to see what these are. Let's go ahead and take a peek. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. These things look awful orange. So this is interesting. I, I, I wasn't even expecting to find any quantanium. That's a 46. That's a hell of a rock, man. That's a that's a real good one. And these these did have that kind of that telltale orange sign to them. So we kind of we struck pay dirt here. And I mean that's not a you know that's not even going to be a tough one to mine. So uh, it's only a 4,600 pound mass. So we're just going to move it right in on this guy, and we're going to pull out our mining laser. And and if you can notice the hut here is just they've done a great job with it. Uh, up in the upper. Uh, uh, left of the HUD, you can see that it's sufficient, sufficient. I just reached the optimal range. Um, I'm not even going to have to put, you know, uh, overclock my mining laser here. This is going to be a simple, uh, simple break. Now I'm going to hit G. That's going to kind of free up my laser, um, and it's going to get a little loud here. But this is, you know, this is going to be an easy break. So uh, instability is 2:30. This is why you keep your Brant on board. Um, you know. 
you play around with it a little bit. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's certainly got some instability there. So we're just going to kind of monkey around with it a little bit and see if we can't break it without using some stuff. But if it gets, you know, if it gets dicey, then we'll just pop, we'll pop a brand and call it good. So don't know how many charges are in my brand. It's one of the things that's a little frustrating. There's no way to just kind of recharge. I mean, I would, if I could figure out a way to throw them away and reload them, I would do that every mining trip. Or, or at least if I knew I'd used a couple of them. So you can see she's being, she's definitely being fickle. An instability of 2.3 is fairly significant. I think 2.5 is, you know, is, you know. Uh, so the helix is, it's, it's working on this thing, but it's, she's, she's like in the, she's, she's kind of, the charge level is kind of going up and down a little bit, and that's okay. I, you know, I'm in no hurry here. Almost half this rock is quantanium, so we. We struck it rich here. If you know, it's, it's going to be an interesting go, but we we, we got to do everything right. But um, you know, this is this isn't a bad gig. So here we go. I'm just kind of still starting to get the charge level where I it's kind of getting up there. It's kind of taking a while to get there. It's interesting, and she's diving down a lot. So um, definitely being fussy. I've kind of gotten a little closer to her. I'm, kind of giving her, you know, reading her the biz a, a little bit by getting close and just kind of ag like uh, agitating all, along the surface of the rock. Um, it definitely should get up there into the green. I mean, there's no reason it's a 4,600 pound rock. So, actually just going to see if I can't get up here and no, nope. of course I go to overclock and it, it's, it's not necessary, but I Went to look to see if it was going to be an option, and it wasn't. Here we go. It's starting to get into the green now, and this is where i got to start managing. You can see she's really bouncy. So it's, it's, it's going to swing wild. That means I'm going to have to swing wild a little bit, too, with my power. When it spikes up, you have to roll it back real quick. When she starts, you know, fading down, you got to go to the other direction. We're keeping her fairly optimal. She dove down pretty bad there. And, and so, and then you can see her spike up. So, you just got to keep working, feathering it one way or the other. Now she took a tough dive there, and I may lose a lot of the green, if not all of it. So, you know that's going to happen when you're mining quantanium. You do want to be patient. I mean, that's just the most important thing here. You know, you've got, you know, you're sitting on potentially, you know, quarter million SCU uh, by the time it's refined and hauled in. So. You know, you're in no hurry here necessarily. It can be a little bit of a nuisance. Yep. Now you can see she got she got in the red a touch. That's no nothing to freak out about. It will happen when you're mining a you know a 46% quantanium. But you know, trying to just feathering her back and forth a little bit, trying to anticipate when she's going to dive down and when she's going to spike up. And it looks like we might have gotten lucky there. Yeah, we'll see how she breaks, but pretty good. So now we're going to do our secondary scans here. That's 100% quantanium, and she's 978. That's a that's a great rock. What I like to do normally, that's a 19 percenter right there, no problem. Here's a piece of purple. Uh, what does she got? She's 100% quantanium. We'll leave her right there. Um, and it looks like I've got one kind of berry. That's half. And what is this guy underneath here? So. That's 100% down there, too. So, And then this is going to be mostly inert, I would imagine, or something. You know, that's 25% bore, so that's actually interesting as well. So what I like to do when I go to break these things down is I just usually pick the lowest percentage one first, uh, and I just break it down. So, you know, get started here. These this, these won't be terribly difficult. Um, yeah, fairly, fairly unstable. What you want to do is, of course, work yourself back up to the optimal range. Um, and, of course, these secondary breaks don't take nearly as much laser intensity. Uh, and you just kind of work it, work it. So I'm doing a lot of feathering with the mouse wheel. Um, you know, feathering up, feathering down. You know, that time I turned, turned the power almost off for a second. Yeah, so that's what we want to do. I mean, we're just kind of... Oh. 
she went up there for a minute. That's it's a little bit annoying. Uh, she kind of spiked pretty quick there. It looks like we're getting a uh, bit of a lag spike just in general. I don't know if we're getting a 30k. Nope, she just kind of busted. Not ideal. That was kind of a tough lag spike towards the end, but it really didn't affect a whole lot. So we're going to want to try and be more careful um, with the rest of them. Uh, that being said, that wasn't uh, it wasn't terrible. It could have been could have been worse. So we have this one that's buried down here. Oh, and that's 100% cord. So uh, that's 100. Um, and so we've got we're just going to do is this guy here. We got that guy there. So okay, this one's half Quintanium. Let's we'll, we'll go ahead and get him broke down and try and do a better job than we did that time. I mean, you know, once again, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I could pop a brand and make it super easy on myself. Uh, generally speaking, you don't have um, tons of bad luck like that, where it just kind of jumped up and spiked and stayed up in there like it did. But it can happen. I mean, you know, you're talking an instability, you know, that's high. It's 2.33, for instance, on this rock. Um, on the bigger rocks, it's going to be more. So you're going to have lots of spikes, lots of diving. Uh, you know, the, the charge level is just going to kind of be back and forth. There's no reason not, if you're not as comfortable with this, there's no reason not to pop a brand. There really isn't. I mean, you know, you've, you've, you've made your money, you know, uh, you're, you're going to do well with it. So, and, uh, and, the, and a brand is just, it's not worth not using if you're uncomfortable with where things are at with things. So, all right, so that being said, we do have this one that's kind of underneath the surface. Uh, and we're not going to, we're, we're really, I'm kind of having a hard time picking up where it's at. I guess that must be a piece of it sticking out of the top. So we'll just go ahead and, and we'll get down here into range. And you can see that's a 2.8 because it is almost 100% quantanium. I am going to pop a brand for these last two. I'm going to try and do them both in one. So I'm building up energy. I'm going to get close. Watch the instability when I pop this brand. Like, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll watch it. It'll go it'll go down to far more manageable. So here we go. Uh, it's it's still 0.7, which is pretty amazing with the brand on board. Um, but 0.7, of course, is far more manageable than, than, than 2. And you can see that we're managing the swings well. I'm going to try and do both 100 percenters with the same brand. Uh, you can if you get lucky. It's not always easy. Uh, it does look like I'm having fairly good luck with this one so far. Um, and we will want to kind of keep that keeper going well. Uh, it looks like we're going to make it here. No problem. And she broke up. And then we have the other 100%er, which is right here. Let's go ahead and close range. Yeah, and so here we go. Um, we have uh, the brand now has got 30 some seconds, so I'm not really looking good to get the whole thing done. We'll see. I just kind of really jam the power up. Now I've kind of teetered off at 20 seconds. I don't know if we'll have enough, but we may get close enough where we can kind of ride out the bubble at the end. So. Uh, we're doing really solidly. Um, we're at 10 seconds. She's got a little ways. She's going to have a, more of a 20 seconds to go. So this this will be interesting. She may dive and we may lose it. We're just we're holding so solid though in the middle right now. Uh, and then she did. You know she yep she's taking a swing now. Uh, it's going to go back and forth a little bit. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here. I just shut the power down fairly significantly. We're only at 4%. Now she's diving down. So I had to swing her back wildly. You can see she's two and a half. So I'm just going to try and bring her home. But this is it's going to be, you know, it's, it's definitely a wild swing. Now she stabilized a bit and she's being okay. Um, yeah, I think we're going to, we're going to, we're going to get it this time. So good. So off we go. So here's what we want to do now. It's time to extract. Uh, we're in really good shape. We're just going to start pulling things in. Our extraction rate is going to be slower than it used to be. Um, of course, you know, that was real slow. I don't think we were actually extracting. 
Uh, yeah, the extraction rate doesn't seem to be super bad. Uh, you know, the I with the XL, the FLTR XL, it does slow down your extraction rate a little bit. Um, that doesn't concern me a terrible amount. And so now we're just scooping up the hundred percenters. Yeah, we want to get every one of these hundred percenters on board first. And we're trying to get as close to a pure 32 SCU run as we can. And that's what we're shooting for. So let's see, is this guy going to be a hundred percenter or not? She's 39. We're going to leave her alone. What about this guy here? Let's see, not much in there. And what about this guy here? All right, so there's some some ones that aren't as solid as we'd hoped, so no problem. There's 100% Quantanium. We're just going to keep on keeping on here. Keep on extracting. What do we got here? 100%. Excellent. So we're almost half in the bag. And we just crossed half there, so what do we got here? 100%. All right, that's excellent. No problem there. Now that looks like a fairly large piece. Uh, yeah, 312, 100% Guantanium. That is a gold mine. That's excellent. So we're going to pull that in. We're just broken 20 uh, SEU of Guantanium. Uh, so we're still very strong in current stability, uh, that type of thing. So we're doing great. We're just going to kind of clean up the rest of this stuff and see how close we can get to. Now that's a 67. Let's see if we can find anything better than that. That's a 7%. What are these guys up here? Yeah, so you, d you definitely want to kind of make sure you get all your hundreds first, right? I mean, that's where the highest percentage is first. It makes a huge difference for your yields. So what do we have here? We've got another, that's 99% quartz. That's garbage. So a 67 percenter. Now there should be some guys down here that have some have some value. So we're trying to eke out this last bit here. Uh, oh, I just was on it. I, was it somewhere? Oh, eighty-five. Yeah, that's going to be better than what we were at. Uh, and the rest of it's Boris, which isn't a, it was, which isn't a shame. And so, uh, yeah, we're cargo full with 31.55. That's excellent. We are definitely going to start backing away here. Rolling up. Um, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to turn over. I'm going to switch back to HOSAS mode. I'm going to kick it on. And we are going to go into looking for a exit to get to CRUL1. So that's where we want to head so um that's good you can see that we the good news is is it's going to be right there for us we're just going to roll her around and spool up and head right for crul1 now crul1 has the bonus for quantanium so we, we've really got an excellent load on board i mean uh you know you know 0.5 scu or 0.55 or 45 scu i can't remember the exact numbers from a perfect quantanium run uh it is kind of what you dream about obviously is you know kind of hitting the planet surface and finding you know some quantanium and and uh, and having a real solid run so we still have some work to do though this is uh you know we've got to bring her in safely uh we want to come in at a good pace not a crazy pace but a, a real solid clip slow down uh, we want to land we want to put her on the deck safely uh, when we get the CRUL1 well, we've got to get the ship stored uh, and then we've got to run down to the refiner and get it refining so uh, that's where we're at now so we're just about to come out of quantum uh, to CRUL1 um, and uh, we'll see how the rest of this plays out I mean it's not it's not a, a promise that uh, that we'll get it there safely yet, so we've got to fly safe and um, you know, and, and not stir up this volatile cargo. Uh, Quantanium can eventually go volatile and blow my ship up, so I've got a I've got a, a, a limited time that I need to get this thing landed, and uh, you know, most of you who are probably watching this know that. That being said, I just uh, thought 
thought I should mention it for people who... So I'm going to roll my ship over gently. Excellent. And I am going to just basically just gun it. You can see the cool thing is here um, is I'm in a spot where I've come out of CRUL1 space where I, I have no... There are no um, asteroids between me and the... Uh, and you know, and, and the station, so I can actually just kind of flat out just get her running. Uh, you know, I've got her up to a thousand um, now. She's, you know, I'll, I'll certainly keep an eye on it as we close, and I will go ahead and turn that off here in a few moments. But I'm zooming in pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off now and let it start slowing down. It's going to slow down relatively slowly. It's not, it's not, I don't want to hit my brake. I'm not interested in doing that. You know, um, she doesn't slow down that, that quick. Uh, but she is slowing down. I think we've, we've done fairly well. You're going to he hear me say landing gear. And that's going to set my gear up. And then I'm going to call for landing. Call for landing. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. And that's good. All right, I'm just gonna kind of kind of get myself up a little bit. Nothing crazy here. Uh, we've got plenty of time, plenty of fuel. We're doing really well. Nothing that you know. No reason to go crazy here just going to set her down smoothly on the pad. We haven't even gone um, yellow yet, so we know we're in really good shape. Uh, at some point here, we will go yellow. I'm just going to bring her in gently. landing there what I will do is I mean I haven't even gone volatile yet so we're in really good shape let's go ahead and confirm I will pop the mining laser out just to look yeah I mean we're solid we're still in 57 percent so we are in really good shape this has uh, been a really smooth run so far we're not there yet we got a little more ways to go we got to get out of our ship safely get her in and get her stored. That's the one thing you absolutely want to do when you're on these Quantanium runs is get the ship in, get it stored uh, as quickly as possible. And um, and that's an important thing to do. So pad one, we're running in. Uh, we are just going to kind of spam the elevator button. I like to kind of keep an eye on my ship and the elevator at the same time. I don't know why, it just gives me something to do, I guess. <laughs> and uh, in we go. Uh, we're going to hit the lobby as quickly as possible. We're going to get the prospector stored. And um, once we get it stored, we're going to head down to the refinery and we're going to take a look at the, uh, you know, take a look at what we got going on. So, you know, just because you, you, you know, you get it um, to the refinery and you get it uh, refined, that doesn't necessarily mean you're out of the woods. You still have the cargo haul, which, uh, you know, all of us who do this enough have lost fairly significantly sized loads, you know. Um, uh, when you, you know, if you, especially if you get two or three quantaniums in a row, you get five, six hundred thousand worth of material and you have a 30k on your way to the, you know, on your way to one of the, the uh, areas that you need to sell it, it happens. And why is this a claim? I wonder. I'm going to go ahead and just file that. I don't know. I landed on the thing the last time. But, eh, that's no big deal. We'll just go ahead and claim it. And off we go. The one thing about a claim is you normally will have to replace your... Um, mining modules, regardless of their, their consumable ones, I 
don't know about the other ones. I've just picked up the FLTR XL today, so you're kind of seeing my first trip with it. So down to the refinery we go. This is, uh, of course, once you have your ship stored and you feel like you're in pretty good standing, you know, you you, you begin doing the happy dance a little bit as a, as a miner. Um, you know, really, I mean, pound for pound, they're really, you couldn't have done much better. Anytime that you can get north of 15 SCU of Quantanium in your hold, you've, you've, you've done well. I mean, that's just the bottom line. You've done well. So it's probably going to cost in the neighborhood of about 13000 to refine this uh, using the Dynex solvination. That's the one that I like to use, the, the, the Dynex or Dynex, whatever. It's, that's the lowest amount of um, cost the longest amount of time and the highest amount of yield. Um, you know, you can choose other ones. They're, you know, research it. I would recommend it. But for me, that's the one that uh, is the most profit margin. So um, but I do like to do this. I think it's good for people to see, you know, so I'm just going to kind of hit here. You can see we've got 139,000. So let's, you know, for all practical purposes, you know, 140, that's 280 or so refined, but you're, you've got your refining costs. So um, we're going to go ahead and, and, and take a look at our refining costs. We're going to begin, and we're just going to choose our MISC prospector, set up work order. We're going to go with that 3155 Quantanium, and we are going to do a Dynex solvination quote. And you can see we're going to end up with 3087. Oh, it's, nope, I'm sorry, the it's, that's actually a very reasonable refining cost of 6300 It's going to take almost two days, but that's okay. Because, uh, you know, when we haul that in, that's a quarter of a million. 250,000 AEUEC at least. Um, you know, if I were to do more of a, a calculated thing, I think it probably comes out a little better than that. Um, but, you know, honestly, that's, uh, that's as good as it gets. I mean, that's a day in the life right there. That is mining... Uh, you know, 101. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to say, you know, thank you all for joining me today. I like to do these videos. Um, I think it's just, it's a straightforward, it's not, there's no editing, it's as straightforward as it gets. Um, you know, I hope that you've enjoyed uh, this. I hope that it's been beneficial. Uh, if you do like the channel, please do like and subscribe. I, I want to do more um, content like this. Uh, Saturday mornings or Saturday early afternoon uh, my favorite thing to do um, you know outside of anything with my family is to just do some good old-fashioned mining in Star Citizen it's a simple easy after a long week of work and stress uh, it's you know it's a comfortable fun easy thing to do it's very enjoyable and uh, it makes uh, the time in the verse go by uh, a little smoother so hey everybody thanks for joining us today uh and when i say us i mean me uh and i will see you around the verse